Hello again viewers and welcome back. Today we've got the 2005 Chevy Avio. We're going to be replacing both of the front lower control arms in this today. Give your control arm bolt a good spray with penetrating oil. This one here, you're gonna have to get in through. Uh, see if I can get you here in through that little hole right there. And a little spritz up in the front. And the same thing on the other side. And don't forget your ball joint. Wise man once told me that when you're dealing with a bolt that's going through a bushing and you got a nut on it, go to the nut and tighten it up. Of course, you gotta have your socket in the right position first. And get right in there, tighten it up. Let it sit for a few minutes. Let the penetrating oil soak into it. Go we'll tighten up the other side. Now the fact that that nut right there is sitting on top of a welded nut that has me a little concerned. So we're going to uh, loosen that nut up a little bit now and uh, see if we can get that bolt to turn. nut up in there is completely and utterly stripped out. Let's see if we can get you a good close up on that. That is just reamed out. Get you guys in here on the battle. I'm trying to get this lower ball joint to let go and it doesn't want to. So what I've done is I've spun the nut back on. I've got a socket jammed in between the top of the stud and the axle. Now I'm backing the nut back off again in hopes that the nut will uh, 
put enough pressure on that stud to pop it out for me. I'm trying to take the nut off. Not actually put it on. socket. I mean, you can hear it crunching. Ugh. And I think I got a good amount of pressure on that. I'm just going to try whacking this thing a couple of times. Rest of the way off. Here's where it gets fun. Push back up on it. Hold the stud still. Try to get the lower control arm to come out. thing is getting getting me started where did I put my screwdriver because oh there it is thank you for holding that for me I want to get into this washer and this pushing down here Pop it into place. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to hold the back one in place while I'm trying to get the front back in. Okay, now. That one's probably not going to go anywhere just yet. So I'm going to try to feed that front bolt in. down to where the bolt hole lines up. Go ahead and get your bolt started in there. And then go back to the other one. So pull the control arm down a little bit. You don't want to pop that back bushing out. Get this nut off. Get the guard off. Get the suspension over the the ball joint. Get it worked up in there. Put the brand new nut that came with the control arm on. Which was also a 19. 
Nope. There's also a 19. Let's get their back holes in place. Alright, so we're going to have to lift this control arm up a little bit to do this. After a little bit of a wrestling match, we got the back one in. Got this front one out. Yeah, make sure they're nice and nice and tight. check all of the uh, not really a big fan of the way this ball joint bolt feels. I tighten these down because we've already got the vehicle preloaded on the rotors. Ah, great. This, this is going to turn into a lot of fun. The bolt stuck in the sleeve. What happens then? <laughs> I just keep fighting with it until either it breaks or I cut it out. Oh, but I'll probably end up having to cut it out. Slice it this way, turn the arm the other way, slice it again, take uh -huh. the arm off, and then I can get the work into the God. into the sleeve. Let me get to the key. left to do is get that on hard.
right there just like that. And then we'll turn it and get the other side. of it. Alright, let's see if we can get this up to where we can cut some more. Cut that right there. Look how that got there. But through that part. Do not breathe that in. Another dead one already. Well, it just doesn't have any cool left in it. <laughs> Just 
still recording. That's going to be a lot of one clips. Change this thing from a cutting wheel to a grinding wheel. And get in here and just start grinding away at it. This battery's not going to last much longer. That was the end of it. <laughs> Yay. Stinker. Try putting the vice grips on it, but I don't think those will do any good. Almost, you little shit. Now that we got that mess all straightened out, and this bolt up here is thoroughly stripped out now, let's go put the new controller in. Same thing as the other side, but we're going to do this one differently this time. We're going to put this little hard mother back in first. Yeah, right there. This is going to be a lot easier this way. make things a lot easier and now we got a new nut to go on the top of it there we go and that one's a 19 yeah I believe that's what that one was Tar all over my wrench now. Yeah, that one 
was 19. Yeah, that one's gonna take a little persuading. Yep. That one will take some persuading. I either get the fight with the back or get the fight with the front. I think I'll fight with the front. The back was a real pain. Looks like the front one's going to be a pain. done manually now because my batteries are dead. Alright, now I gotta loosen that one back up just a little bit so that it can move when we uh, lower the vehicle down. thinking when I tighten that up but that's what was uh, holding us up I managed to get the bolt out of it I think by the way I just tightened this all the way up and it didn't lock I think I bent the jaws of my pliers my Irwin vice grips got bent well in a number of years I've had these, I'm super surprised. Huh. Either that or the rivet up here is letting go. Time for some new ones. get this thing sitting on its on its weight and then go ahead and tighten those down you know the vehicle weight on the suspension by using the rotor Let's go ahead and get all of these suspension bolts tightened down
jack stand. Put the wheels back on. There you have it, 2005 Chevy Avio, both lower control arms. If you guys like that one, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell. And most important, don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. <laughs>